Tony Soprano was truly a man ahead of his time. I mean, if a mafia don in the 90s could see the benefit of going to therapy, our generation literally has no excuse. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Sue Bird. I am a four-time WNBA champion, and the reason why The Sopranos is my all-time favorite show is because it's incredibly character-driven. What's the one thing every woman, your mother, your wife, your daughter, have in common? They all break my balls. The show revolves around Tony Soprano, who is a really complicated guy. He's obviously the head of an Italian-American mob in New Jersey. No big deal. What line of work are you in? Waste management consultant but he's also the head of his own family. And all he's really trying to do is keep things afloat. And then it's dysfunction this, and dysfunction that, and dysfunction my fungal. When you see him go to therapy, what you start to realize is, yes, he's a mafia boss, but he's not that different from the rest of us, except for like the whole killing thing. That is what is so great about this show. It is one of the rare shows on TV where we as the audience are able to see a character from every angle imaginable and still kind of like him, or at the very least respect him. You get to see the dad, Tony, cheering on his daughter at a volleyball game or walking around in his boxers, just like we've probably all seen a parent do before. Then maybe something goes down <laughs> in the crime family and you get to see the boss, Tony. You'll kill him someplace else. My absolute favorite scene from The Sopranos is a classic moment between Christopher and Polly. They're out in the woods. They're trying to find this Russian guy who's like super elusive. And one of them says to the other, You're not gonna believe this. He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. Guy was an interior decorator. This house looked like shit. Every single character that is in this show is amazingly written, and you really fall in love with them in ways where you cannot wait to see what happens next. When the show first came out, it was at a time where you didn't really have the binge watching that you have now. So before binging was even a thing, I would go and buy the DVDs, put them in those little sleeves, keep them safe, and then watch them that way, which to be honest was probably better because I didn't have to wait that week to see what happened next. I got to just be engrossed in the entire season all at once. So if you don't want to end up sleeping with the fishes, I highly recommend checking out my favorite show, The Sopranos.